Hi everybody, this is your friendly neighborhood ESL and accent reduction tutor, David Berlin. Today, I want to talk about something that is a particularly vexing problem for English speakers, new English speakers, non-native speakers from the Indian subcontinent. Southeast Asia. Okay, so this really applies to all languages from India, really. Uh, Malayalam doesn't matter if you're a Kannada speaker, uh, you know, Tamil, Telugu, whatever this applies. Okay, so a common error that Indian subcontinent language speakers make, right? So let's say we're talking about uh, a, um, a, a bidding war, right? So there's a book or you work for a publisher or you are acquiring materials or whatever, or you're looking for a particular candle, candidate for a job and you want to say this has escalated into a bidding war. That's the correct way to say it, right? This has escalated into a bidding war. Um, it's, it's past tense, right? And the reason it's past tense, see what most Indian la subcontinent language speakers say, and it's a mistake, is this escalates into a bidding war. That's not correct. We don't say this escalates into a bidding war, okay? What we say, and there's two ways to say it, right? So if you're talking about something that started in the past, however far in the past, not it's not specific how far into the past, right? But could be 10 minutes ago, maybe a short kind of time in the past. What we say, and, and it's continuing into now, which is the important part. What we say is, this has escalated into a bidding war. Escalated. And so when you add that has and that ED ending, right? You chop off the ending and you add ED and you add has into it. This has escalated. This has turned, right? So you have the verb turn, right? Which is, you know, to turn, which is the infinitive. And then you add the has and you drop, you, you know, um, you, you add ED to the ending. So turned. This has turned. Um, that means that the turning, right, this has uh, turned into a problem. Right, so you chop, you don't say this has turned into a problem. This has turned into a problem. So you add the ED ending and you add the has, then it means it started a little bit of time in the past, could be non specific really, and it's continuing into the now. This has turned into a problem. This has escalated into a bidding war right? Escalated. Escalate. You don't say this, this is escalated to a bidding war. You say this has escalated. You add that ED ending, which is how you make that tense. You add the ED ending and the has, right? Started in the past and continues into now. This has escalated into a bidding war. This has turned into a problem. Uh, he has listened to your proposal. Right? Um, so it's it's starting in the past and continuing into the now, right? You chop off the end. Well, you don't chop it off. If you have an E and N, you add ED, but that's what you do. You add ED and you add has, right? That means it's that the action has started in the past and continues into the now, right? When you say, and this is the mistake that most Indian subcontinent language speakers make, when you say... Um, this escalates into a bidding war. Um, what that means uh, is that it's starting now and continuing into the future. When you have the e ES ending, not ED, this escalates into a bidding war. This turns into a problem, right? 
You understand? When you have that S or ES ending, you don't want that. That's a different tense. To make the tense that you want to indicate that something starts in the past, whatever past, and goes into now, you use has and ED for the ending, or just D. Could be D, could be ED. We'll get into that, which one it is in another video. But it's this has turned into a problem, okay? Um, because when you say this ha this has turns or this turns into a problem, it's a different tense when you add the S or the ES ending. It means it starts now and goes in a little bit into the future. Now, just for reference, and I don't want to get into this right now, but when you have something into the past, in the past, and end it in the past, um, you would use this was turning into a problem right? I-N-G ending. You see? So let's say uh, the action, whatever it was, uh, the, the turning into a bidding war, right? The bidding war was in the past and ended in the past. You say something like this was turning into a bidding war. So you use the I-N-G ending. This was turning into a bidding war. We got the high bid and we got the project, right? Because it's in the past and ended in the past, that's the I-N-G ending, right? Started in the past and continues into the now is E-D. This has turned into a bidding war. It's, it's started in the past, however far, not specific in the past, right? And continues into now. Okay? This is your friendly neighborhood ESL and accent reduction tutor, David Berlin. And if you're interested in English as a second language or accent reduction lessons, give me a call at 732-807-5424. Call or text. Once again, that number is 732 807 5424 Call or text. Uh, for for rates for lessons or to set up lessons or whatever you like, give me a call. Or if you just have questions about English and you want a couple of sessions to kind of set yourself straight, give me a call, 732-807-5424. Or hit me up on Skype at david.berlin.com. E S L D A V as in Victor I D dot B E R L I N dot E S is in Sam L is in language David dot Berlin dot E S L or call or text for lessons at seven three two eight zero seven five four two four. I can't call you. You have to call me. Call today, okay? Seven three two eight zero seven five four two four. This is your friendly neighborhood ESL and accent reduction tutor signing off. Goodbye.